Taffy, you ever smash the like button? All the time, pal. Sure. Uh, you mentioned the Vangelis soundtrack. So yes. I mentioned several times how this is a very moody and atmospheric film, and that's that's like half of the enjoyment of it. But so Vangelis's music uh, doesn't fit with a lot of films. Um, for instance, Chariots of Fire, as famous as that theme became, I don't find it to go together very well at all. I, I saw the movie for the first time maybe four or five years ago, and I, it just seemed very out of place. This movie, however, it, you do not have Blade Runner without that soundtrack. They are, they're inextricably joined in the way that uh, uh, John Williams' uh, motif is joined with a Star Wars film. They just go together like peanut butter and jelly. I'm, I'm with you entirely. And that's the thing. When I saw the director's cut in the theater and there was no narration, that soundtrack just comes, it just comes right to the fore. You know, it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's just, it's in your face. You know, it's, it's this, this, you're flying in the spinner car and you're seeing all the, the, the neon and you're hearing all this wonderful music. It's so immersive. And uh, you don't have that distraction of, of the reluctant heroes, uh, reluctant narration you know and uh it's it's so uh, you know and that's the, and actually from a practical point of view for years i had a knockoff uh copy of that music it was not the actual van gallis soundtrack it was by something called the new american orchestra i think yeah. and had some of the themes and it was as close as you could get because with ascap who knows? There's always you know, whenever you 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 can't find a movie, it's it's ninety five percent of the time it's because of the music. Mm -hmm. So um, so once they figure that out, they released the soundtrack. I bought it immediately at full price, which is something that I didn't. You know, I was a poor college student. I have a ton of money, but it was something I really really felt I needed to have in my collection. And, yeah, uh, I remember it very well. Um because uh, I don't remember how I found out about it. This was uh, pre World Wide Web days in the, in the 1990s. But I, I got wind of the announcement that uh, it was finally being released on CD and I got it the week that it came out. Yep. Uh, it was great to hear because yeah, for years, you know, it was probably, I don't know, when did it come out? Something around 19, I wanna say 1993, 94, something like that. So, you know, it was well over a decade that you couldn't get this music, which really stuck out because uh, as we mentioned, the music is very memorable. It's so heavily yep. identified with this with this classic movie, and it was hard to understand why it couldn't be released. And I'm I I know the uh, New American Orchestra version. I never bought it because you know I read the notes. I'm like, this isn't what I want. This is this is something else. Um, but here's here's something interesting. Um, I subscribe to uh, to the iTunes feature, which basically lets you stream everything that Apple has the rights to. Nice and. Uh, Maybe three years ago, the the Blade Runner trilogy uh, was available. Are you familiar with this? Tell as me. A, as an audio product. Um, so the first disc is uh, the movie soundtrack you're familiar with. The second is stuff that didn't come out the first time on the oh. first CD release. And the third is music inspired by Blade Runner. It's all Van Gelis. It's all It's all his post-Blade Runner inspiration stuff. I listened to it a lot um, and some of it was quite good. And then uh, I went to play it six months ago, gone, no longer available. So there's still something going on in the, in the digital rights management uh, world. Yeah, that, how that, interesting. Yeah, I, it's, it's very frustrating, but there's a case of, if you, don't, if you didn't own the uh, hard copy, you, now you don't have access to it so well, i believe it i believe it was out there as a three cd set that you could buy it might still be out there as a hard copy i don't know i haven't looked well it'd be easy to check ebay or something to see if it's available for like thousands of dollars <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, I, just as a total like offside i like to read history books and there, oh, we were doing, uh, there was a history book that you and i were talking about and i was looking for it and i was like oh i'll send gary a copy and and it's like it's it's unbelievable. It's either not available or it's at such an exorbitant price because it's out of print and it's it's a niche and it's like they know that like I, they people booksellers may I, I'm not I, I'm a true I'm 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 painting this with a wide swath so I, I can't pretend to know the motivations of booksellers but I imagine that like They're somebody knows bastards. that 
this book is 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 rare enough that either a collector is going to pay whatever they ask or an institution is going to buy it so they can have it in their library. And normally these are ex libris books anyway that they bought from a library that closed. And so you're going to have that stamp in there and it's not, you know what I mean? And it's like, ah, uh, just, it's so frustrating. It's like, Oh yeah. I, there are books that, that I want that are, that are like that, but they're, they're art books from the forties and fifties uh, that, you know, cost two bucks at the time. Yeah. Uh, but they've been out of print for decades. And uh, these artists have since become posthumously very famous so yeah, you might pay four hundred dollars for these these cheap books. I just put them on my wish list, and every once in a while, every once in a while, a copy, a used copy, will come up, or somebody will find it at a Goodwill or something. It's mm-hmm. like two ninety nine. Oh right, you know, it but happens, yeah, it does happen. It's rare. Anyway, well, that's that's off the topic, but um, 